evening, Will Score Special Fans host and creator Will Farrell here with an emergency Facebook Live. As when the fourth quarter buzzer sounds, you turn to us for your fifth quarter sports talk. How you guys doing? Hope you're enjoying your Saturday evening. I myself am as it's NBA off season and any time anything can happen. As it just did not too long ago, just a little bit ago for Chicago Bulls fans, Sacramento Kings fans, and San Antonio Spurs fans are checking Twitter and their team's Bleacher Report communities for information as the Chicago Bulls have completed a three-team sign-and-trade that is sending DeMar DeRozan to the Sacramento Kings. Leading through that trade, DeMar DeRozan has also signed a three-year Seventy plus million dollar contract, I believe it's seventy six million dollars, with the Sacramento Kings to join the Montas Sabonis and the Aaron Fox. In the three team deal, the Sacramento Kings are sending forward Harrison Barnes to the San Antonio Spurs, and in the deal, the Chicago Bulls are getting Chris Duarte. 27-year-old. He was drafted three years ago by the Indiana Pacers, so he is a older drafted player. Could be a good role player the Bulls can use in this quick rebuild we're hearing they're trying for. So we could see them try and keep this guy around since they just got him. He's only 27, still a pretty young player. And they are getting two second-round picks. We don't know the details of what year those second-round picks are, but when we find out, we will let you know. And the Bulls are also getting cash. So for a player that could have walked for just or signed somewhere for just nothing, the Bulls are getting something. That's kind of what I like about signing trades in the NBA. You know, I wish Major League Baseball offered that feature. Or the NFL, we haven't seen that, but if they offered those features like the NBA does, I think it'd be pretty cool because it allows teams to try and get something for those players. And I think the NBA has done really well with signing trades. So if you're just tuning in, the Chicago Bulls, are uh, retooling. Uh, could be a rebuild, we don't know. They haven't really given it a name yet, but they are dismantling this roster that, in my opinion, should have been dismantled at least two years ago. Then maybe you could have kept the DeMar DeRozan around. We don't know, but going back in time is something Bull fans wish they could do right now because this team really put itself into the ground, courtesy of Arturis Karnasovas and Mark Eversley making some very bad decisions. But now they're actually doing their jobs, Bulls fans. And we'll score special fans. The Bulls front office is actually doing its job right now. They're getting younger and building for the future. Good at a Franz Wagner if they would have kept those draft picks, maybe. But we'll have to see. Uh, I think the Patrick Williams contract being official today, $18 million in uh, what will be a five-year $90 million contract, I think is a really great deal for the Bulls. I was hoping they would keep Patrick Williams around. He was the first draft pick made by this Bulls front office. He's a really good young player still, has a lot of intangibles, and I think he was held back by Damar, Zach, and Vooch. So, Bulls will score special fans. I do expect to see a Nikola Vucevic trade and a Zach Levine trade both happening before the Bulls go to camp. I could see that happening much sooner than later at this point. As some teams, like the Lakers and other teams that have maybe missed out on certain positions of need, will uh, be looking for players. I could see a Vooch fit in New York maybe with the Knicks. We'll get a good trade fit out of that maybe. Um, I have heard Memphis, but we'll see. So if you're just tuning in on this emergency Facebook Live on this Saturday night, it is July 6, 2024, and the Chicago Bulls have completed a three-team trade with the Sacramento Kings and the San Antonio Spurs. The Spurs are acquiring Harrison Barnes from the Sacramento Kings. For DeMar DeRozan, the Bulls are acquiring Chris Duarte, a 6'5 guard slash forward, two second-round picks, and cash. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Hope you had a safe and happy 4th of July holiday just two days ago. So, from this emergency Facebook Live, when the fourth quarter buzzer sounds, you turn to us for your fifth quarter sports talk. I'm Will Farrell saying so long from this emergency Facebook Live of Will's fifth quarter special. Enjoy your evening, guys. I'll be sure I'll see you again soon or something.